I broke into this video, y'all, just to let you know, you got to listen to the video kind of close. Go to the Big E store and look at my feedback. If that antenna wasn't as good as what I said, I would be bankrupt by now. So see, I was listening to the video. I said, man, it sounds like I'm talking about the ultimate antenna. I'm just talking in general about TV antennas, just for your knowledge. And at the end of the video, I'm going to clear some things up and answer some questions that uh, some of my customers has asked me. Like, because uh, I get the same questions a lot. So I'm going to shed some light on a few things for everybody. Hello, everybody. I got something I need to show you here today. I, what I've done is I've put together a dealer's kit on eBay. And I want to show this to you. Four of the white pieces. And bundle them up like this. And then this right here is a 12 foot of wire. That does four reflectors. And, and the part I wanted to show you. See where I got this tape right here. See my rule right there. And see where this ends right here. Yeah right there. And see. This is how you would cut it. Every 36 inches. I'm moving my tape again. I'm having one of them hard times again. I've tried to put a, a label on the box while I go for 30 minutes. I couldn't get it on there without wrinkles in it to save my life. Okay, put your tape in the center. And then go down 36 inches. And then you would cut this. One. And it's made just right. I got it measured just right to where you you using uh let's see let me get that right to where you using uh 36 inches and uh you can just leave your 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 piece on it'll be a little sticker or or you can cut it off flush but I usually just leave them when whenever I do them and then here's your last one right here. And I want to tell you something about the antenna. I've decided that I'm going to tell everybody. I'm going to show everybody uh, what that ultimate antenna update is that I'm putting on these antennas. Uh, a lot of y'all been with me a long time. And, but anyway, make a long story short. I'm going to show y'all what that is that's, that improved that antenna. And... I want to say this right here. Y'all know how my meter only goes to 27? Okay. When when I was doing that, I was checking. I had an ultimate antenna, and then I was checking with an ultimate antenna with the update, not the super. The super ain't got nothing to do with this, what I'm talking about. I come out here to show you. I took my old ultimate antenna down, and I put the new updated not the super. The super is up there too. I just stand in where you can't see it. See the super antenna pole still there? I just pan right here. See this? One? That's uh, I just stuck it up there temporary. Y'all, I've been doing a lot of stuff. And I'm going to get back to what I was doing. I just want to show y'all this. There's my stand that I made, like where I can put an antenna up by myself. And you see, well, I guess you can see. See here, the wind's blowing. And that makes for a bad antenna days. But I'm going to go in the house and I'm going to show y'all some stuff. And I really got a lot coming up. But, uh, all right, let's go in the house. You know, I don't know what these people are going to do that ain't subscribing. I guess they're going to miss out. Now, y'all see this right here. Now, this is the channel that I checked that on outside. Uh, because I was standing right at the ditch, you know, well, uh, I reckon five foot high. And I had two ultimate antennas. I had the one that you know. And then I had the updated ultimate antenna out there. Not the super. Uh, but I did put one of the updates that's on the super is on the ultimate antenna now. And there's a lot of people buying them antennas and that's the reason i'm making this video first of all i want to warn you you might want to try the antenna without a booster first 
that joker's knocking fire. And uh, anyway, here's what I want to tell you. Now, y'all remember how my meter with my old software, it only went to 27. Okay, so I had a regular ultimate antenna out there that like what you know, and it was getting a 26 on the meter. And I put that updated antenna on there, and it was getting a 27. But see, here's the deal. It might have actually been getting a 30. You know, we don't know because that meter only goes to 27, and it stops. It don't matter where you at. But anyway, see, my, my old USB stick I was using, it tore up, and that's the reason I bought this updated stuff. So see, the only way I can check it is check it now out there. And y'all, I just ain't got time to do it right now. I'm going to have a bunch of good fun stuff coming up, but I just ain't got time to do it right now. I've, I've been busy. Hey, y'all, this ain't as easy as you think. <laughs> but look here. Here's what I'm telling you. My meter went to 27. If, you, if your meter on your TV, you know, it's liable to go to 50, the meter liable to go to 50. And then, and then some TVs has, like, got 100. So, see, that, that that topping off at 27 on mine might be four bars on yours at 50. It's liable to be eight at 100. Now, this thing right here is knocking fire, and I mean it's doing it. Uh, I ain't never seen so much skip coming in here in my life. I, I kind of wondered, did I, was I making it too strong? Uh, but, but uh, anyway, <laughs> I've I've seen Augusta, I've seen Savannah, I've seen Atlanta. Uh, if I were to scan right now, they ain't no telling. I've been kind of waiting to do this. I've been kind of waiting. Because I was kind of worried about y'all getting them antennas, the ones that's buying them, and hook them up and put a booster on there, and like they overdriving right off the bat. So see, that's why I'm telling you, I want you to watch out uh, when you first hook it up, because you may could put your booster in the closet. And and uh, y'all boys, y'all know I tell the truth. I'm going to talk about the super antenna for a second. Only because the super antenna taught me a lot of stuff about overdriving. Because it does a plenty of it. And the ultimate antenna, the updated ultimate antenna I'm selling on eBay, it overdrives a little bit. But overdriving is actually a good thing. You want it to overdrive some. You just don't want it overdriving a lot. So here's what I'm saying. If... If your antenna, and I'm going to have a video like talking more about this in detail. But let's just say uh, you get one and you put it up. And it's overdriving a little bit. And you know your signal is supposed to be, a, let's say, a 20. And it drops back down to an 18. Okay. So the overdriving, one of the channels will cause that channel to go back to an 18. So, and that's when it's picking up like real good at night, you know, usually when that happens. Okay, so, so see, if you're not looking at your meter on your TV, you won't even know that your meter fell back. And then when the next day comes and the sun comes out and the atmosphere starts raising hell, that, that uh, thing has got an automatic choke. <laughs> and it'll come out of overdrive and, and then start working on the plus side for you. See, I've I've done studied this right here. I've actually got off all my information together. I'm just waiting on that other USB stick that, to come in that I ordered where I can get uh, both my laptops up here at the same time where I can show you some stuff. Now listen, I can see where this is uh, is confusing. You know, I always say it, uh, antenna picks up better at night. And some people think that 
Well, some people think that they the antenna, the broadcast companies cut their power at night. They don't cut their power at night. I've I've studied about this right here. And if you if if you losing channels at night, it's because you overdriving. If it's overdriving hard, it'll make you lose channels. Now, what I was talking about, you want it to overdrive a little bit, uh, uh, some of your channels, the signal meter might fall back. You know, there'll be one channel that's just raising hell with signal strength. But the other channels might fall back some. But like I say, if you ain't looking at the meter, you won't even know it. See, now, ever since I've had that new stick, that new uh, USB stick, I've had it plugged up to this laptop when I'm sitting here where I'm sitting or plugged into the other, uh, uh, like where I'm resting in the afternoon and stuff. Like i just been studying. I mean, y'all know how I am. I got that saw there where I can cut that, them whiskers perfect every time. And y'all a while ago, whenever I was showing you the signal strength on the meter on the TV, that was the updated antenna I swear I swear it was I just had an an alien a 100 booster on it I'm gonna be telling y'all a little bit more about that uh I, you know I I hadn't tried now I tried the uh the 778 on the on the uh, super antenna but I hadn't even uh, put the 778 on the uh on the updated antenna. I spec it to run it. Uh, I just hadn't tried it, you know, for sure. Okay, y'all. Here's, I, I did put the Channel Master Booster on. Let me show you. See it? I did put the Channel Master Booster. I heard me say on there that I hadn't tried it. And I hadn't. That's the first time I tried it, but I figured it worked. That LNA 100 is pretty amazing. Look right here. You remember my cord that I had with all my splits in it? That's the super antenna cord. And uh, here's the cord that, the new cord that's coming from the, uh, from the, the other, you know, from the updated ultimate antenna, just like, exactly like what I sell on the Big E store. Look at that right there. It's, it's lit up all the way. I'm gonna, let me check all the channels. Okay, my VHF's doing good. And I checked it a while ago before I doing the camera. The signal strength was about the same. It's hard to believe that uh, that LNA 100 is doing that good. Oh, yeah, this I wanted to check this channel right here. And see, watch it. I bet this is going to be wide open. This is this is the one I was showing y'all the other day that was so strong. Look at it, it's wide open too. Hey y'all, that this is what you can expect. And then there's me TV there. That's five bars. I think it was more than it was the other day whenever I was messing around. All right, y'all, I'm going to go outside. It's still the same day. Wind's blowing. It's still been a few hours, though. It's probably getting around 5 o'clock. Do y'all know? Do y'all know? Let me show y'all something I made. I got a pole that fits right here on this where I can pull it around. And y'all... The playing's over with, about like me holding an antenna four foot off the ground and all that. Nah, I'm done with that right there. I'm I'm tired of tying my antenna, one of its arms behind its back. I'm going to show you what it'll do. All right, back to what I see. Y'all know how I can sell all them antennas so cheap, them four antennas so cheap? Uh... It's only one shipping. It's only one shipping fee. 
all four of them's in one shipping fee. If they if they wasn't all in one shipping fee, they they'd be eighty dollars in shipping. And then other people get their money out of it too, you know. I went to get me some coffee. Let me tell y'all something. You know that, uh, you know, I was talking about the shipping be $20 a piece on each antenna. See, it'd also be, uh, you know, the $10 boxes. So, that's how I can sell them cheap like that. But I know everybody, I know everybody is, you know, I'm figuring they're going to be some dealers, especially after I tell y'all how to make some money with it. Now what you do is, if you ain't a dealer, you get your buddy to go in on the house with you. And y'all make y'all an antenna, and then y'all make one to sell, to get your money back. And on the next video, y'all, you know I told y'all I was going to be talking about, about selling, about how to make money. I'm going to hurt some feelings on the next video, but I'm going to tell you the truth about it. And actually, I'm going to tell you the truth about you can't sell a homemade-looking antenna. It's got to be, looks like store-bought. People, I, I know when you make one, you're proud and everything. You say, yeah, I made it. If they don't know you made it, it's best not to let them know you made it. They think the antenna companies, they think you are no match for what the antenna companies do. They, they don't think that that's possible. I can tell you that from experience. I've learned, uh, I, I ain't never had no trouble, but I've learned to, if somebody thinks uh, that it's a store ball or something, just let them think it. That's, that's the best thing to do. But if you take something up there with a piece of wood or something, they're going to do like that man doing me when I first done it. He, I, I was looking at his eyes. When he seen that piece of wood, he didn't give a dog how good it picked up. He seen that piece of wood, I seen him look off through yonder. Hey, if, if you're going to do this and make some money, you 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 got to... You got to be professional with it. They ain't. You put that old homemade looking antenna up there with that old bent up wire and stuff, it ain't gonna get it. Chicken wire, or whatever. It ain't gonna get it. Now, y'all, now, I guarantee you, I could go and sell 10 TV antennas in one day without anybody knowing who I was. I'm going to tell you in the next video how to do that. All right, I got this figured out. How to get that, how to get the four antennas. You get you and your buddy to go in cahoots with one another. And y'all make y'all one antenna piece. And then y'all make y'all one to sell. And y'all, you'll be able to sell it. Especially if you bring it over there and show them your TV. And a customer asks, could you run multiple TVs? You can run multiple TVs. Uh, also asks, without signal loss. The signal loss ain't real bad on splitters. Not as bad as what everybody acts like. But you can get uh, you can get a distributor amp and run your coax into it. And you also can run a booster with along with that, by the way. But... You'll have one coming in, and then you can buy them, like, you know, with a bunch of apps going out. One one person asks, well, a bunch of people ask these same questions. How high does it need to be? Well, if there ain't nothing in the way, it don't have to be high. Uh, you know, people just put them high because they're getting over, you know, obstacles and stuff. So if you ain't got nothing in the way, man, I've put them... <laughs> I put them on a 12-foot pole on somebody's house before. But that was when I first started, and, I mean, it worked out fine.
Now, y'all don't ask me this too much. People around here ask me, will that, how many channels would that get? You know, they different places, you know, that, that different places is them TV broadcast towers is, is different powers. The strongest channel in making is a million kilowatts. And, or a million watts. And the weakest channel we're making is 400,000. The strongest channel in Augusta is 400,000. So, so see, all that matters. If you buy, if you buy the full antenna, it'll come without the reflector. You know, you'll have to attach that. But man, I would stand it up and try it without the reflector, especially if you got scattered out TV stations. Now, if you put that, if you put that uh, reflector on there, it's going to make it more like a beam. It'll still pick up stuff from the back and from the sides, but it's all according to how far off all that stuff is. And, like I was saying, it's according to how much power. Now, I put antennas up in a little town here called Wrightsville, and, uh, and they get signals from Macon, and they get Augusta coming in the back door. Now, I don't know how they do it, but I done seen it more than once. I had to go do something. I thought of something to tell y'all. Back when I used to have a good time, it ain't been a whole long time ago. Tammy get her sister to come over here and, like, babysit me. And <laughs> she wouldn't let me be by myself. And I'd say, no, Tammy, let's let's get Loretta to come. No, we're going to get Dina to come and sit with you. And I'd be, like, trying to make deals with Dina about let's go riding around. <laughs> She wouldn't let me get out. She wouldn't let me get out of her sight until Tammy got home. And Dina's back over here. She's been helping me make these antennas and stuff. And uh, hey, she's reliable. <laughs> she ain't much fun, but she's reliable. And I got another man that helps me too. Y'all, I can't. I can't do all this work by myself. One man told me today. He was going to buy an antenna. But he asked me, could he put two antennas together? Now, I don't know if he was talking about putting it with another kind or what, but you, if you're going to do that, you need two of the same kind of antennas, whether it's the ultimate or whatever it is. You need two of the same kind. But, boy, this would be one more bad son of a gun with two, uh, you know, two side-by-side -side of, th of these antennas. <laughs> That'd be a bad joker now. If if you got an uh, antenna, this overdrive, take your reflector off. If it, it may be to work, you know, the, every kind of situation that I'm sitting here talking about, you, you know, one of y'all is going to have. Uh, you know, you can put a booster with it. You can take the booster off. You can take the reflector off. You can do any any of these combinations. Uh, you know, you just have to do what's best for you and just kind of mess with it. I've had people, like, talking about getting, picking up channels 65 miles away with the, with the thing in their attic. That's it, y'all. I could go on and on. Don't forget, uh, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to make some money with the antenna. You know that if I could do it, and I come up with the whole idea, you know, the whole system, you know if I could do it, you somebody could sure tell you how they done it. Thanks, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.